This is to make a substructure for a flower bag. You just take some aluminum foil. If you're using a heavy duty aluminum foil, you will not have to do this step. I fold it into thirds. And I fold one edge over, like so. I do this to both sides. Then taking the seam on the inside, I line these two units up and I'm going to fold both edges towards the center. Do that to both sides. Next, what we do is with a pair of scissors, trim the ends off of here so that it's not such a long bag. Next, so that we can remove this from the dough, we're going to just fold the ends in a little bit so it's a tapered end. And then roll the end over on itself. Then with a rolling pin, just making sure everything is nice and smooth. Now what we have is this little bag that we can fill with aluminum foil that is going to be the substructure of the flower bag. And you want to stuff the bag all the way to the outer edge. That way your edge has some support so that it doesn't collapse on itself. I'm going to layer these as opposed to marbleizing. So I'm going to sheet them out and then stack them on top of each other. I would like my finished color to be a sort of brown tone with some speckled undertones. So when I do this, I stack this on top here. Now this goes on top of here. And this will be like a little accentuation in the center over here. Now it doesn't matter if I sheet it this way or this way, because I'm going to give this a couple of folds and turn the colorants into each other. Now that we've got a really fat little sandwich of all my colorants, I'm going to flip this over because my outside color is what I'm shooting for. And I'm going to just fold them in, making a rectangular package with it. Now flipping it over again and sheeting this till I can see some of the other colorings shine through the top surface. The nicest way to treat the edge on this to actually get some texture on here. So what I need to do is I need to invert this whole thing first. And just with a surface decorating tool, I just thin out that edge. Even if the edge rips a little bit, it's okay. It's just going to be a bag. And now we're going to invert it over again because we're going to screen an image to the opposite side. So now I have to pick the area where I want this image to go on. I'd like it to be right here. So when I go to wrap this thing, I want this side of the dough to be right around here. Get a little bit 
put chocolate down. I just want to make sure I don't get this image on there, so make sure that no chocolate will get on there. Then what we're going to do, just with this textured rolling pin, create a little bit of a surface area. Obviously you can't roll it over the silk screen image. If you don't have this particular tool, you can also use a threaded rod or you can use um, any sort of surface that would replicate what you're looking for. The key to this is that you spray the bag very well. You don't want this thing to stick, especially if you're going into a competition where you can't have any interior structures. So you wanna make sure you can remove this. I'm gonna flip this over this edge and we're gonna place the bag. Yeah, all the way up to the top. And now, so that image, no, pull it back towards you just a tad. Making sure that this top edge is supported here. Again, you can put some folds into this so it looks a little bit more natural. So again, putting folds into this. Again, you gotta work fairly quickly on this. These are pinched surface area, making sure you don't run right through it. If you would, you can just sort of piece it back together a little bit. And then the next thing you do is to make sure that you have a good seal on the bottom. You're going to just roll this together. Now you're gonna do this also to the edge up here. Make sure that it starts to stick together. And then you take your pastry wheel. And because you have an edge right here, you trim inside of that edge. Up to the top. And then you can just, again, just soften that edge out a little bit more. Do the same thing to the opposite side over here. And then if it sticks to your table, you can just take a knife, cut underneath it. You can take the pick this whole thing up. And put it on a sheet pan. Again, I would wait with a piece like this just for a couple of minutes, allowing this to sort of dry and crust over and then baking it at around 320 degrees till it starts to stiffen up. Cause you want this afterwards to be freestanding. So you can just pull the interior structure out of it and then you can fill your breads into there. After it's completely baked and cooled, you can remove it from the sheet pan and then carefully remove the foil from the inside. All of this foil can be reused at a later point. Especially for competitions, you have to always be sure to get every little piece of internal support out of there because this could count against you severely to the point of where you could lose a competition 
if they find that you have some internal supports.